So what is the fear of the Lord? We know it's not to be scared of God. I'm yes. going to tell you what it is. So to have a reset, a fresh start, yeah. you have to up your fear level. Now, up your that's, fear level. that's really going to confuse some people. <laughs> yes, Stay with me I'm on confused. this one, okay? There's two kinds of fear. There's the unhealthy fear where we're scared, and there's the fear of the Lord, which produces life. If you look at Exodus 20, 20, when Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt, mm -hmm. he brought them to the mountain. His mm -hmm. first destination wasn't the promised land. He wanted to bring them to the place where he met with God at the burning bush. Right. Wait, uh, do, wait can you re-say that? Because I think a lot of times people think they went to go to the promised land. No. Nah. What, did, what did Moses say to Pharaoh? I think it was over seven times. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord, let my people go that, that they, they might, might worship, worship me. me in the wilderness. Why would, why would Moses want to bring the people into the promised land before he first brings them to the promiser? Because if they brings them to the promised land first, they'll make the promised land into a place of idolatry. Which, which is, is kind of what happened. What they did. Yeah. Because they missed out on their opportunity. Mm -hmm. when, when they came out and they came to the foot of the mountain, it was two months later, God came down to Moses and said, oh, I'm so excited. I'm meeting yep. my kids finally, right? I've been waiting for this. It's a paraphrase, but yes. And, yeah, and he, he, he said, and you can read this in Exodus 19, he said, the whole reason I brought you out of Egypt was to bring you to me. Because God's a father. He has a father's heart. He wanted yeah. a relationship, right? So God comes down to introduce himself right, on the mountain, and all the people scream and run away. And yeah. Moses is, he's devastated. He's scared too, but he's devastated. Yeah. But he draws and, and he looks at the people and makes the statement. It's a 2020 statement because yeah. it's Exodus 20, verse 20. What? He said, yeah, it is. He said to the people, we're talking about fresh vision. Yes. He taught, said to the people, he said, do not fear because God's come to test you. And what's the test? To see if his fear is in you so that you may not sin. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Do not fear because God's come to see if his fear is in you. He's not contradicting himself. He's differentiating between being scared of God and the fear of the Lord. Mm. The, being scared of God will, will push you away from him. Yeah, it's Adam and Eve hiding. Right. Yeah. I was afraid. That's so good. Yeah. And then the fear of the Lord yeah. will draw you to him. So what is the fear of the Lord? We know it's not to be scared of God. I'm yes. going to tell you what it is. Write this down. It's to be terrified to be away from Him. Yeah. So the fear of the Lord is what gives us the power not to sin because we don't want to be away from Him. If you look at Jesus, Isaiah says that Jesus' delight was in the fear of the Lord. And I believe Lisa... Yeah, and we know He wasn't afraid of His Father. No. Yeah, it was to tremble at His word. Yes. to walk in reverent obedience. Right. And I think right now people have no fear of God. When we hear about that, you're, why would you act that way? Do you have no fear of God? It's not a fear of judgment. It's a fear of understanding. Wait, my life was created to honor Him. How I'm dishonoring God with my behavior. That's so good. Yeah. yeah. And the thing that I really, really shake at is when the New Testament says that Jesus was heard because of his godly fear. Yeah. It's one thing to pray, it's another thing to be heard by God. And I don't know about you, I don't wanna spend time praying if God's not hearing me. Mm. <laughs> you yeah. know, you, you mean there's times that God wouldn't listen to you pray? Well, the Bible says that if I talk disrespectfully and dishonorably to my wife, yeah. heaven will not will, listen to my prayers. Answer your prayers. Will yeah, not answer. My prayers will be hindered, right? right? Mm -hmm. Jesus was heard because of his godly fear. It was his delight. Now, here's the, here's the key. A manifestation of the Holy Spirit is the fear of the Lord. Where we've been in meetings where all of a sudden there's a holy reverence that comes over the entire yep. meeting. Yeah. And you know it's the spirit of the fear of the Lord. That's so true. And how do I know that from the scripture? Isaiah said, the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon Jesus, the spirit of wisdom, counsel, the spirit of might, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of, of, of wisdom and the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Mm. So here is our reset. Yeah. Let's cry out to be filled with the Holy Spirit of the fear of the Lord. And I'm gonna tell you why. I was asked to visit a very famous evangelist who was doing a five-year prison sentence. And I remember he had read one of the books that I'd written and, and wanted to meet with me. And I remember walking into that prison into the area where the prisoners can meet with you. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me and he said, John, this prison wasn't God's judgment on my life, it was his mercy. If I would have kept living the way I was living, mm -hmm. I probably would have ended up in hell forever. Mm -hmm. I was so impacted by that statement. 
after a few minutes of talking with him, I said, when did you fall out of love with Jesus? When did you lose your love yeah. for God? And he said, I didn't. I said, hold on, you committed adultery. Yeah, you were, you, you were embezzled completely funds. confused. I was right. confused. I said, you embezzled funds. This is why you're in jail. And mm -hmm. this went over a seven year time period. Yeah. What do you mean you didn't fall out of love with God? He said, John, I love Jesus all the way through it. He said, I didn't fear God. And this is what Proverbs tells us, by the fear of the Lord, one departs from sin. Why? Because we're terrified to be away from him. So when you fear God, you honor what he honors, you love what he loves. What is not important to him is not important to you. You embrace his heart. So what you want to pray for is a spirit, a reverent spirit of the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because if you do that, you'll have a successful life. And, you know, I want to address the other fear because there are so yeah. many people that they are bound by fear. They can't move forward because they're afraid that yeah. if they move forward, they're, they're going to do something wrong or they're going to say something Correct. wrong. And here's what we have discovered. The fear of the Lord that John's talking about, it swallows up the lesser fear, the fear of failure, the fear of man, the fear of rejection, all of those different fears. The fear of the Lord, go away. it goes away. When you get in the presence of God, He actually swallows up those fears. And so we don't want the fear of God to be something that is scary for you. We want you to understand that the fear of God actually will eradicate the lesser fears. And we understand that we want to honor God because we love Him. Yeah. You know, so we have holy fear and have a, an, an, actually an experience with the unconditional love of God.